well, welcome to uh, the Children's Youth and Families video uh, for today. Um, we are very glad you are with us. Well, when, yeah, whenever you're watching this, whether you watch this, uh, it goes live at eight o'clock on Sunday mornings, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Um, whether you're watching it then, or whether you save it for later on in the day, or later on in the week, uh, we are glad you are here. Indeed. You had a good week? Uh, yes, yes, I had a good week. I managed to catch up with some family that I hadn't seen in a long time. We were together all together for the first time in two years mm. so that was quite nice to see nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. how about you yeah uh it's, it's been all right now i went to the theater this week mm. well i say theater i went to some outdoor theater um okay. went to watch some shakespeare um i also booked some flights to go see uh my brother um ah. yeah and and his little family that's which exciting. is over in denmark so that's exciting so I, i'm looking forward to that very much i haven't seen them since 2019 as well. Okay, so uh, those are recording. We're recording on a day of a certain match. Um, what well, we do not know what has happened. No, we don't know what's happened, but what do you think is going to happen? And then people can laugh at or not laugh. Oh, yeah, it's true. So, yeah, so, uh, so in, my, in my family, it's, it's yeah. kind of a little bit of a win win. Like, we kind of win a little bit if Denmark win. Yeah. Because we, we have a Danish connection. Um, but I mean, I think we're all hoping for a bit of an England win. Yeah. yeah. Uh, don't show this too my the danish contingent of my family okay. um we'll see we'll see it'll be a good game yes yeah. it's coming out it's coming out cool we'll, we'll see enough waffle chloe enough Indeed. waffle so this week we have uh we're moving on to the next part of the armor of god and before we do that we have a question okay well, yep and our question is, we kind of, uh, we'll be saying one question. We never just have one, do we? No, we, no. And, and we hope that actually in asking that one question, it kind of leads to others in your conversation. Yeah. So the question is today, what does the word faith mean? And uh, what does it mean to have faith in God? So what does the word faith mean to begin with? And then what does it mean to have faith in God? If anyone says children's youth and family videos are not uh, hard hitting, deep, like, you know, they, 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 they need to watch them. Good luck with those questions. Okay, so we hope you had fun discussing those questions. I wonder if you stretched those theology brain muscles, cells. Brain, brain, brain muscle cells. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 They're, they're, they're now definitely a thing. Yeah. Brain definitely. muscle cells. Okay, so <laughs> let's read, uh, we'll come back to talking a bit about the things about faith and stuff when we talk about uh, the part of today. Mm. Um, so to begin with, let's read Ephesians or Ephesians, Ephesians, yeah. Ephesians chapter 6 and uh, verse, where do we start from, 13? 13 or 14, Yeah. you pick, you're reading. Um, okay, let's go from 13. So put on all the armour that God gives then when that evil day comes you will be able to defend yourself and when the battle is over you will still be standing firm be ready let the truth be like a belt around your waist and let god's justice protect you like armor your desire to tell good news about peace should be like shoes on your feet let your faith be like a shield and you will be able to stop all the all the flaming arrows of the evil one let God's saving power be like a helmet, and for a sword, use God's message that comes from the Spirit. Hmm. Realise that's quite a different version. I was going to say, yeah, you're definitely not reading the Niv. No, this is a children's Bible from church. If you recognise the colour, um, so we're looking at verse uh, sixteen today. What does mm. verse sixteen in the Niv say? In the in the NIV, it says, "In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one." Mm. So, yeah, so this morning we're going to kind of break that down a little bit because there's kind of two different parts, aren't there? So um, there is uh, the, shield, the shield of faith. And then there's also this idea of what are these flaming arrows? So let's turn to look at What are these flaming arrows? Um, yeah. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's, been, it's been a long day. Um, so, you know, what? why do we need a shield of faith to protect ourselves? And... If we think about the context of, uh, or like when when Paul was writing this, what people would have known about an army, what people would have known about a battle, uh, would be quite different to what we think it is now. 
But I, th- I, I imagine one of the scariest things uh, that you could probably face as a, a Roman soldier would be like a volley of arrows that are on fire heading straight towards you. Like, imagine that would be terrifying and would probably uh, cause all sorts of issues. Um, and so that is why, like, that is why uh, the shield uh, was so important um, because uh, it was. Well, you did you did a bit of research, didn't you, Chloe? You worked. I you, did. You yeah. Learned, what did you learn about said shields? So the shields were either made out of wood or they were made out of leather, so that they wouldn't necessarily burn. But they were also soaked in water. So it meant that it was damp. So that if there was a flaming arrow that came, they wouldn't catch light. Mm. Uh, which also would have made them extremely heavy if they were made out of leather. But leather's not exactly mm. light or wood. And soaked so, in water. Yeah. So, so these shields were, were there to protect against these, these arrows, these attacks. And so then when we think about that in, in, um, in the context of, of us, like we know that this suit of armour and, and equipment isn't necessarily a physical thing. Like I, I, I don't have a shield of faith physically. Yeah. Um, so what are the, uh, the flaming arrows? What could they represent in this? And I, I think it's probably quite, it's, it's, it'll be different for each one of us. So, you know, if you're watching this uh, as a family, you know, um, some of the things that uh, the flaming arrows might represent will be different for all of you. Um, and the, the devil, or the evil one, as it says here, doesn't have any power. God has already beaten him. What, he do, what the devil does is he asks questions. He goes like, is that really true? Or um, did God really say that? Or it won't hurt you if you do that. You know, like the devil asks us little niggly questions that can lead to, um, you know, kind of a lot more kind of pain, a lot more hurt, a lot more... Um, Injury, I guess. Yeah, doubts, doubts or yeah. temptations or worries. Yeah, so so uh, if if the, if a flaming arrow, if you're um, if you're someone who maybe you know has, has got a lot of questions, maybe a lot of doubts. Like these arrows can be like questions and doubts that are like kind of fired at us. The, the devil wants us to turn away from God. He wants us to not believe. That is that is his goal. Um, and so that that's what maybe the flaming arrows can represent. But mm-hmm. as it says here that uh, we need to take up the shield of faith, Chloe. How, how would that help us against like these flaming arrows, these um, you know, questions, these temptations, these uh, you know, kind of maybe negative things about us? Yeah, so the shield of faith is holding on to what we believe in Jesus and God. Now, it's similar to the righteousness or uh, one of the belt of truth. Because it's about the belt of truth, knowing who Jesus is mm-hmm. helps us to stand firm. And so by having the shield of faith is believing in God and trusting in him, even though we might get difficult things coming our way. Mm. And faith is one of those, um, I don't know what your discussions were in faith, um, because it can, it can mean several different things, or there can be several different kind of um, contexts where you could talk about faith. Because you could have faith is believing in something that's perhaps unseen, that you don't, like, we can't see God, can we? But we have faith in him, we can believe in him because he has done so many other things and because of the Bible we can read in. Um, We can also have, you can say that you could have faith in a person, that you believe they will go and do something. Um, Or you can trust that, I have faith that they will be there for me. Um, I would trust that they will be there for me. So holding the shield of faith is going, okay, God, I don't know why these flaming arrows are coming to me. I don't know why I'm having these doubts. I don't know why this bad situation has happened to me. But I know from reading the Bible and I know from past experiences that you are with me and that you are in control and you're in charge and I can trust you to be with me in those hard times. Or actually when the devil sends an arrow of uh, a doubting question going really do you believe that or are you really worth it you go no i am because god loves me and you can stand and hold firm to that shield of faith to go no i don't need to listen to that i know who god is i know who i am in god mm. and you can stand firm with knowing who god is and taking that as your shield and your comfort and that strength to deflect those arrows away from you 
Um, yeah, I think uh, you know maybe maybe uh, you might want to pause the video and Google like uh, Roman military formations mm -hmm. because um, you know th this uh, this isn't just about equipping one person, is it? Like well, I've I've just had this thought. Okay. Um, so it may, <laughs> may have to filter it out. Uh, this isn't just about equipping one person, is it? This is yeah. about equipping God's people. This is about equipping, uh, you know, I don't want to necessarily call us an army, but like we are, we are part of God's kingdom and he is uh, providing for us and protecting for us. And these flaming arrows, you know, like if you look at the, um, uh, is it the tor? I think it's got a proper name, but the tortoise formation, where yeah. like everyone, like everyone's holding a shield and they're protecting the person to the left and right. And then you've got people who've got the shield kind of above and, you know, protected from every angle. And um, yeah, the devil uh, is firing these flaming arrows and he's trying to find a gap. In, in, in the defence, isn't he? He's trying to find a little thing where then it will take someone out. And actually, like, it's really important that our shield of faith, even when those questions do arise, like you say, Chloe, or things that, like, you know, that might make us, I don't know, doubt God or fall out with each other. Actually, so the shield of faith, this is like, God, I, I don't know the answer to that. I don't know why this has happened, but I trust you. And I will, you know, I will, I will stand firm. I will, you know, tells us a lot to stand, doesn't it? Um, yeah. You know, and I'll stand firm. I'll, I won't be afraid because I know who you are. Yeah. And the great thing with the shield, like you were saying, it can interlock so between your person next to you, so you're protecting each other. But then also, if you're on your on your own with a shield, you can move your shield around, can't you? Mm. So it's not just stuck in front of you, like a breastplate of righteousness or the helmet. It's stuck in one place, isn't it? Whereas with the helmet, uh, not helmet. With the shield, with the helmet on your arm. You can move it around, and you can deflect him from all different angles. Mm. Angles, angles. <laughs> you are doing well today, Chloe. Angles. Angles. Okay, so. I think yeah. I, I think it's I, time to. It, it, well, I think it is time to pray, isn't it? And um, mm. we should have said it at the beginning about a cardboard. We did. So we we haven't said this now. So we have. <laughs> Do you want me? I'll say it. So uh, we, we didn't say this at the beginning. We kind of meant to. Apologies. Um, so you might want to pause the video now um, and uh, go find yourself like a good sized piece of cardboard. If you've got some cardboard at home, that'd be great. You know, maybe cut it outside of a cardboard box or whatever. Um, if you don't, paper will do. Yeah. Um, um, cereal carton, cereal ooh, box. cereal box. Yes. They're, they'll make good helmets. You know, in mm. a, you know, whenever we do that one. But just the whole cardboard box. You can just put, put the cereal box in it, yeah. Yeah. God works through Rice Krispies. Um, yeah, so we want you to get a piece of cardboard um, or, or something that you basically you can make into a shield that you can also write on. Yeah. So pause the video and go find some now. <sighs> okay, so if you have found some cardboard um, I want you to, to cut it into a shield shape now obviously it doesn't have to be round but uh, we uh, here's one that, Ooh, I've, got, I've got a bit of light isn't Ooh. It? Uh, this is one that Rob has actually made and yeah. it's not out of cardboard it's actually out of, uh, out of proper wood. proper wood yeah. um, it's not soaked in water though close so it's not authentic I'm not no, it also doesn't have a handle either so oh, no, yeah. it's not it's in it's in progress in progress um, so yeah, so once you've made your shield shape, uh, you might want to kind of get a handle so that you might be able to put it on your arm, you know, whether you make that out of string or, you know, more card or whatever. Yeah. Um, and as part of our prayer, uh, we are, oh, my computer's beeping at me. Uh, as part of our prayer, we want to uh, you to write on your shield the things that you know about God. So the things that we can trust, that we can have faith in. So... Um, you know, one thing that I think I would like to write on a shield somewhere is that, like, God is good. Like, no matter what I see going on around me, I know that God is good. Um, and and when when things start to kind of, maybe when I feel like that things aren't going great, things aren't good, that the world isn't a good place, that that's a flaming arrow that might get fired at me but i've got this faith i've got this i know that god is good and i might not understand but god is good so like so we want you to think about some of the things that you know about god and we want you to write it down on your shield yeah what have you written down so i've got you can't see it because i've written it but it's too far away so i've written um in the center of mine i've written love 
Ooh, God is love. Or, God is love. Yeah, God or, is love. Or God loves you. Yeah, all of that. Like, all of that. All of that. Uh, so like someone like the, a question or a doubt coming up. God doesn't really love me or whatever. But I can remember that God does love me. I've got faithful. That God is faithful. Mm. Um, I've got tr- the word good, like you said, uh, true. Um, that's as far as I got so far. Okay. So yeah. Okay. We'll give you a bit more time. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so maybe maybe pause the video. Maybe um, maybe there's a uh, well. We'll we'll put a song down in the description of uh, uh, of this video. Uh, just a link to it. Um, and you know maybe maybe give that a listen as you kind of spend some time writing on your shield. Um, and then yeah, and then kind of come back to this video and we'll pray. Yeah. Okay. So do that now. Okay. So I hope you had um, that was a, that was encouraging or found helpful writing down those things. And maybe you can put those shields up. Maybe you make one as a family, or maybe one each. Um, but have those around you now as we pray, as we thank God for these things that we have written about who he is and um asking him to help us to hold on to them when we get trouble uh, get moments of trouble mm, um, yeah okay so, yeah let's go cool father god we thank you that you have equipped us with this armor to help us to stand firm when we get uh, tough moments in life lord we want to thank you for the things that we've written on our shields whether it's things like the fact that you are loving that you are good, that you care for us, that you are faithful, that you are true. Lord, we thank you for all of these things that we can hold on to and remember in times when we have doubts and questions and troubles, Lord, that we can hold on to that shield of faith, knowing who you are. And we pray that you would help us to remember those things as we go into this week, to stand firm with them, and that you would help us to um, be able to resist the temptations and those flaming arrows of the evil one. Amen. 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 So, do we need a challenge or is this challenge enough to make a shield? So, I feel like we need a challenge. Okay. I, I do enjoy a challenge and this is one, this is an interactive one. Okay. Um, I mean, we, we won't do it because I can't say anything that we could use uh, here. So, uh, what we want you to do, this is just a little kind of challenge, a little game that you guys can play as a, a family you know, maybe brothers and sisters, um, with this idea. So we need you to fashion, uh, don't use the shield that you've just been praying with. Uh, we want you to fashion a shield out of something random, right? Um, make sure it's not fragile. You know, shields aren't fragile. Um, oh, I've got a good one I could use from home. Or expensive, what? My s- sledge. Oh, the sledge, the sledge, yeah. So, what we need to do is, and it needs to have, it needs to be able to fit on your arm. So you need to be able, like, you know, may, maybe you need to modify a little bit to kind of put it on your arm, right? And then, uh, this is where the interactive bit comes in with uh, the rest of your family. Um, you need to like stuff like I don't know, cuddly toys or like tennis balls or or just so- soft things, general things. Socks. Like so yeah, or balls or socks. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, that you uh, will stand five meters away. And try and hit the body of the person holding the shield. Mm-hmm. Now, the person holding the shield can obviously, like Chloe said, move it around and, and try and block uh, said projectiles. Um, but yeah, I guess you know. That, that, I think I think mm-hmm. that could be quite mm-hmm. fun. Yeah, that could be quite fun. Good fun afternoon family activity. Absolutely. Uh, hope that <gasps> no one has. Yeah, go. Because it's like kind of summer, and if it's sunny this afternoon. Yes. Water bombs. Water bombs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. There. Sold it. In fact, actually, everyone should go get water bombs and just. Yeah. Yep. But you know, whether you <laughs> whether you've strapped a cushion to your arm or whether you've got you found your sledge, dug it out from winter, you know, and kind of managed to attach that or whatever. Try and stop the projectiles from hitting you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sound good. Have fun. Have yeah. fun with that. Cool. Oh, and if you want to video it as well, like you know, it yes, could it be, could be quite amusing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. Cool. Well, we hope you have a good week. Um, and we will... We've got, hang on, how many weeks have we got left of these videos? There's two more parts of the armour. Whether that's one or two videos, we yet to decide. We are, okay, right. Uh, and uh, we've got, uh, I don't know about you, this is my last week of... Um, yes. Clubs. Yep. So uh, after, yeah, so Friday's our last, last one. Um, yeah. Yep. And then we hopefully, I mean... I think we probably should say it's like uh, there. I know there's been announcements around uh, mm. like 
uh, the government and opening up and lockdown and stuff. Um, we're we're waiting to see what the um, the Baptist Union, who help us out, and also the National Youth Work Association, say about uh, what that means for youth work. Um, we want to make sure we do things uh, right and safely and properly, um, so that might take a little bit of time. So uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully in September. That's the dream, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but we we will of course keep you updated. Um, look out for emails and communication of the like. Um, I've waffles, sorry. Okay, have a good week everyone. Bye! Bye. <laughs>